He rolls up an expired bus pass and a ridge of cocaine. Each grain, a tiny landmine trembling to combust in his blood, vanishes from my nightstand. He is a proud Scot. Sweet and sharp as rye and ginger, strong as a door frame, well read with a scar that stretches like a waking cat down his elbow. As he turns towards me, 10,000 tiny white match heads strike against his insides and I can see his pupils swell like two broken fingers. I am 19. I've never done cocaine. I don't know what it is to lose the meaning of enough. All I know is that two weeks ago, I wandered into my kitchen and this man was caramelizing onions, his freckles dancing like the oil in the skillet, and I decided I would take him, and I took him. And now, in my bed, he is full of the dirty electricity of the drug. His freckles, even my favorites, the big ones strewn like shells across the shooting range shoulders, shatter to the angry tune of boiling water when we touch I can feel the voltaic invasion in the man under my hands. There are defibrillators in his fingers. Oh. He smells like a lightning strike that has set rubber on fire. Oh. And I should have said, hey, gunpowder junkie, hey, you sexy little bullet factory, I do not know that I will not be enough because enough no longer exists for you. You do not know that I will resist being hollowed out so you can spend our time searching my shelf for your first high. That frightens me and my fear will fight you tooth and nail and not in a sexy tooth and nail way. <laughs> but under the influence of cocaine, the elements of making love, which is what we are doing, have become unstable. His breath at my neck, a cloud of irradiated dust, his sweat comburent, flammable as propane, and so instead of speaking, I try my best not to burst like kindling under him. We are just keeping each other company, he and I, here in the difference between not caring and just being careless. When I think of it now, I remember him as a dirty bomb detonating into my mattress at the time. It was just a mushroom cloud I wanted to kiss. Oh. Nobody is worthy of condemnation. Nothing we can do is profound enough for that. He and I slept in my glass bed, so neither of us dreamt of stones. In German, there's no word for addict. Instead. The person who cannot stop grinding himself to powder is called a seeker. This has to be what I felt through his freckles. The slavery of searching. The desperate electric arc scrambling for a base to weld to. The lost electron hunting inside me for an atom of balance. <laughs>